We are back to work part two for problem 4.28 on page 191. And we've already applied overhead by plant-wide. We figured the plant-wide rate is $2 uh, per labor hour. Um, but the question says, well, what if we decide to go with labor hours in department one and machine hours in department two? All right. so. How would that change things? What would we estimate based on these figures when we do our estimates? And then when we end up actually knowing um, how many hours we ended up using, um, what would we then go ahead and apply to each product? All right. So let's go ahead and do that. So in department one, um, we need to calculate. Um, the direct labor hour rate, right? So the direct labor hour rate for overhead, right? So the overhead rate is uh, 384. So we, we estimate, estimate, right? We're estimating that's 384, right? And we're going to divide it by how many labor hours we think. So we estimate that 640. hours, right? So 384 divided by 640 is 60 cents per hour. All right, so in department one, this is going to be our overhead rate, 60 cents per hour. All right, so for department two, we're going with machine hours. So for department two, so this is one, and for overhead rate for department two, so for department two, we believe our overhead is going to be 1,152,000. And we believe the machine hours we are going to use is 192,000. So 1,152 divided by 192 is six dollars per machine hour. All right. So this is labor hour. This is machine hour. Department one, 60 cents per labor hour. Um, department two, six dollars per machine hour. So now we have to split this and send it across our two products. So product one, right, is equal to what, we, what the labor hours we spend in department one and the machine hours we spend in department two on that product. So I'm going to use these numbers down here where it tells me how many hours I spent. So labor hours for product one in department one and um, machine hours, right, for product one in department two. Right, so I'm going to need um, this, I'm going to need this, right? So for product one, it's 60 cents per labor hour, and we said the labor hours were going to be 480 hours times 0.6 per hour. All right, and then we're going to add from department two, which was based on machine hours. So in this case, it is uh, 24,008 for product one. This is machine hours um, times six per hour. And that equals. 436,800. All right, so that's product one overhead. 436,800. It's very different from what we came up with up here for product one because that was based solely on labor hours, and product one, you know, got a lot of labor hours at $2. So let's look at product two. All right, so product two we're basing. Um, 
uh, on our labor and our machine hours. So product two, right, takes 96,000, I mean, sorry, product two takes 38,400 labor hours, I'm sorry, takes 147,200 from department one, and it takes machine hours from department two, uh, 180. All right, so we're going to use this and this for product two, because product two uses for department one, labor hours from department two, machine hours. All right, so for product two, we're going to have that 147, 200 times 0.6 plus 180,000 machine hours times 6. And product 2 then ends up equals overhead is 1,168,320. All right. So as you can see, we ended up with very different numbers if we use two different um, drivers and apply the rate across the departments and the two different drivers instead of just one plant-wide rate. All right, so on the next video, we will talk a little bit about parts three and four of this.